image. So we're going to duplicate this layer. We're going to call it um, skin retouch. Okay, well, how do we retouch the skin? Well, the one tool that we use the most is this one here. It's called a healing brush. And if you click and hold, there are a couple options we have. One is the spot healing brush. I don't use it, but here's what it does. If you come to a problem area on the skin, like say this right here, if you just click on it, once see it fixes it see this before and after it fixes it automatically basically since I don't really like to trust the computer for this I like to do a little bit more of a manual process I choose the healing brush tool the regular one and a few things about the brush if I right click I have a few settings here my brush is not round as you can see well, it's round, but it's not a circle. It's more of a sphere. Uh, I don't know why I did this, but long, long time ago, I started using it like this, and I got used to it. You can control the shape of your brush by uh, messing with the settings here. Now it's circle. If we move these points around like this, now it's very slim. So I like to keep mine around like that. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, the hardness... Uh, mine is uh, typically right about here. The size will depend on what we're working on. Okay, so this is how it works. It's uh, pretty simple, although in the beginning it may sound a little hard. So I'm gonna rotate it because I like it like this, or like that. Okay, so this is what you do. If you press Alt, whether or not you're on a Mac or a PC, it's the same. If you press Alt and hold, it, the cursor will turn into this icon here. Now what we're going to do is, let's say that this is our problem area right here. We want to remove this blemish. Uh, the way we do it is first we find skin that is does not have the blemish, that is clean skin. So we find it around this area. So right here would probably be a good spot. Then I click, let go of Alt, and then I go over to the problem area and I click and hold. And on the left, you see the little uh, cross. That's where it's referencing from. So it's taking the clean skin from the left and it's basically transferring it to the right. Okay, then we go over the problem area, let go, and you can see it's fixed now. This is before and after. See the before and after? Okay, so basically what it's doing is, if we get technical, it's taking the texture from the clean skin but applying the color of whatever the problem area is okay because we're not just copying a piece of skin from one side to the other that's not what's happening what we're ha what is happening though is we're copying the texture so if here the texture involves this blemish okay it's gonna take the clean skin texture and it's gonna apply it over this blemish using the color of whatever is surrounding this blemish. Okay, now I know this is confusing. You don't need to understand what I just said, but for the technical ones, um, I'm basically explaining that uh, what it does in detail. Okay, so what we do is we go over all of the problem areas. We make our brush bigger than the problem area. So in this case, that seems fine for this one. Press Alt, find the clean skin right near it and then go over the problem area like that same thing for everything else go over alt click go over the problem area alt click fix that okay and so forth one thing to keep in mind is the following if you're editing something like that here you cannot use clean skin from somewhere else like the blurry area here so for instance if I reference by pressing alt this area here I click and then I start editing there okay you'll see that this part will be blurry and it will not match the rest of the skin around it so we're gonna undo the reason again is because it's taking the texture from wherever you're referencing it so here if the texture is very blurry and smooth 
it's not going to match the rest of the skin here. So you must make sure that whatever you're referencing matches the area that you're trying to fix. Okay, so for instance, if you want to edit there, we're going to select that, press Alt, click, and then fix it right there. Now, sometimes when I'm editing, I may create um, some coloring streaks. For instance, see the spot here? If I'm going to try to remove it, I may create some uneven coloring as I go. So whenever you see me going over the same area twice, what I'm doing is I'm trying to fix the uneven skin tones that I created while trying to fix some blemish. So you'll see me going over the same place over and over again. And I do that because I might have created a, another problem while trying to fix some blemish. And also, let's say that I fixed something, but I didn't like how I did it. I may just simply press Command Z to undo it, so it goes back to whatever it was, and I'll try again. So when I'm editing quick, you may not see all these steps, but I want to make sure that you're not confused and you know what's happening with my editing. So let's do this together uh, really quick. First, let's um, address the problem areas. So I'm going to do this very, very quickly because I don't want to bore you. And at the same time, don't think that I'm doing anything different. It's the same thing as I just showed you. I click Alt, select, and then go over the problem area. And with my thumb, I sometimes press the space bar to turn this into a hand so I can move stuff around. Move the image around, okay, and then I Alt, Clean, and so forth. Now, the more you do this, the easier it'll get. Your brain will get used to the way uh, this works. You won't even have to think about it. So right now I'm going over it really quickly, working on the problem areas. If I mess up, I quickly undo. So you want to go over the problem areas that are very, very obvious. So if you feel like something shouldn't be there, then you should edit it out. Now often when people smile, they end up with these, um, I'm not sure what they're called, wrinkles I guess. Um, for girls, most things like that you should remove even though they are natural and it's nothing ugly but for a portrait like that you typically want to get rid of that because it makes the skin look more smooth and most people don't like wrinkles by the way uh, one thing that sometimes is weird is it's kind of applying makeup basically in a way because you have to notice things to fix Instead of applying it, you know, in color, you're basically fixing some stuff. But you don't necessarily have to know how to apply makeup or learn a lot about the face itself. All you kind of care about is to fix what you feel like is the problem. So I guess what I'm saying is, even though you're working on somebody's face, you don't have to be an expert on makeup or facial lines or something. Um, most things are common sense. If you feel like a wrinkle is not um, a good looking thing there, then you should remove it. Now a similar process is with the hairs, the stray hairs. Um, actually first we gotta edit, edit this here. Like that. Okay. Zoom out, let's see, oh, oops, 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 oops. So we got the, the chin is kind of hard to do here. And again, since this is a close up, it's always harder to do because you can see so much more. Thankfully, we're not editing a 21 megapixel file because that way you would be able to see even more and it would take even longer to edit. All right, let's see. Let's see what we have before and after. All right, see, we removed a lot. Okay, well, let's continue.